After a local daily raise questions about government spending during the West Grand Bahama and Bimini by election, particularly regarding the Prime Minister's travel expenses, Director of Communication Latre Raming has stepped forward to refute these allegations. Raming stands firm, asserting that the Prime Minister's travel was conducted on official government business and funds for the Progressive Liberal Party's campaign were covered by the political organization. Tonight, our Azure Quant brings you the latest. At no time did the office of the Prime Minister indicate to any individual that we use taxpayers' dollars to pay for the PLP's campaign. That is the response from Director of Communication in the office of the Prime Minister, Latre Ramming, as he defends recent claims regarding a $100,000 payment allegedly made by the government to cover the expenses of the Prime Minister's travel during the by-election in West Grand Bahama and Bimini. There were a clear division of where taxpayers' uh, money ended and where the party paid for political activities. Ramming making it abundantly clear that during the period in question, the Prime Minister's travels were solely for official government business. He's also clarifying that payment was made by the Progressive Liberal Party to cover necessary expenses related to the campaign. There was a number of items covered widely by all uh, media houses. It was the signing of the roads in Bimini, the airport, a cabinet, a cabinet meeting that was held, um, the expansion of Ocean Key, the opening of the government complex. So there was a number, there was a number of official government business that happened during the government's travel. While the prime minister wears multiple hats, including that of the leader of the governing party, Raming reassures that there is a clear understanding of where these lines meet and a commitment to ensuring they are never crossed. Ramming notes that a public officer is responsible for approving and overseeing the expenditure of public funds. He stresses that whenever the Prime Minister travels, a clear purpose must be stated, ensuring transparency and accountability. There are uh, boundaries in place to, pre to prevent the abuse of public funds and the purpose in which the public funds are used. And who is the accountable officer in the circumstances those funds is to be used. The Prime Minister is advised when it is appropriate for him to travel. He is advised what level of representation is required in that travel, whether a ministerial level is fine, whether the Prime Minister is absolutely required to travel, uh, and who should accompany the Prime Minister during their travel. He affirms that the Prime Minister's travel have played a significant role in repositioning the Bahamas as a strong advocate on global issues such as geopolitics, climate change and global financing, which directly impacts the nation. Not only has the Prime Minister become a very strong advocate for the people of the Bahamas, but he's also a very strong advocate for small island development states. And so his, his representation is absolutely required. And when, when the Bahamas is not in that room, our, our presence from the global conversation uh, just, that, that doesn't exist. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Adric Wand.